house underground. He loves doing stunts. He's best friends with Grubby. Go on, say something. Let's go through this again to make sure everything is working. Have you guessed who it is? It's Ken the Weevil from Dirt Girl World, which you can only see here on the CBeebies. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big oh. red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal Clifford! He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island And no many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Yeah. Ooh. about my very favourite memory. <clears throat> my Favourite Memory by Emily Elizabeth Howard. My favourite memory starts back when I was just a little girl, living high up in a flat overlooking the city. Back then I didn't have a dog and I wanted one more than anything in the whole world. One day I will have my own real dog, big and beautiful. It might be an Irish setter with a shiny red coat. Or a big, tall, great Dane. Or maybe a Coleman dog. <laughs> then Mum and Dad won't need a mop. Then, on my birthday, my parents told me they had a big <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Happy birthday, Emily! Make a wish. What did you wish for, darling? I can't tell, or it won't come true. You didn't by any chance wish for a dog, did you? <gasps> That's exactly what I wished for! Well, Mr Bradley's dog had a litter of puppies last month. And he'd like you to have one. If you still want one, that is. Oh, yes, I do! I do! Elizabeth, come on in and meet all the puppies. Here's the proud mother. Oh, they're all so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little puppy. <laughs> Elizabeth, that's the runt of the litter. What does that mean? Well, he's the smallest of the bunch, and he'll always be small. But he needs me. Are you sure he's the one, darling? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm going to call him Clifford, my small red puppy. Welcome to your new home, Clifford. Bye. <laughs> 
like it here. Taking care of a dog is a big responsibility, Emily. You'll have to feed him and play with him and take him for walks. Don't worry, Dad. I'll take good care of my Clifford. I know you will. Oh, here's a collar for him. We got this collar before you picked little Clifford. I hope it fits. <laughs> oh no! It's too big! Wait! I know what to do! Ah! Oh, this will be perfect! Clifford! Time to eat! There you are, boy! Uh-oh! You can't reach your food in that big bowl, can you? <laughs> well, we'll just have to think of something else, Clifford. This is better, huh? <laughs> this little chap can fit just about anywhere. I hope he doesn't get himself into trouble. Oh, uh, don't worry, Dad. I'll take care of him. You're doing a great job. Mr. Thompson, how much do I owe you? Oh, hi. Clifford! Clifford! Oh, no, Emily, catch him! Oh, what's going on? Don't worry, Mr. Thompson, I'll get him! Mr. Thompson, it won't happen again. Give it an eye, promise. Of course you do, Emily. But sometimes I worry about him being so small. Then I'm just going to have to find a way to help him grow. I'm sure you will. Mum says it isn't good for a dog to be so small, Clifford. So you have to eat up and get big and strong. But remember, I love you no matter what size you are. this and I'll have to get you a new collar, Clifford. Isn't it great, Dad? Good night, Clifford. 
Alfred. I love you so much. never seen anything like it, Emily. That dog is huge. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> well, yes, it's nice. But a small flat in the big city is no place for a dog like Clifford. <gasps> but I love him. I know. So, it looks like we'll have to think about moving. We'll think of something. <laughs> I told you taking care of this dog wasn't going to be easy. But he's always Whoa. worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Darnell and Luna decided to pick some apples. On the way to the apple tree, they saw Reba playing on her pogo stick and invited her to join them. So she bounced along beside them. The apples on the tree were red and ripe and ready to be picked. Robbie tried to reach the apples, but the branches were too high. Speckle tried to climb the tree, but the trunk was too wide. Then Reba had an idea. Using her pogo stick, she bounced high up into the air, right up to the fattest apple of them all, and picked it. It looked like such great fun that everyone wanted to get their pogo sticks too. Soon they were bouncing and picking and laughing together. And in no time at all, they had gathered a basket full of ripe, juicy apples. Isn't that a great story? Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Now we're already up to level two, which means that it's going to get harder, Alex. <laughs> oh, I think I'm ready, Kerry. OK, great. I'll just turn it on. OK. We just have to follow the signs. Three, two, two. one. Dancing. Oh, this way. Oh, centre. This way. Oh, yeah. Like in this. Oh, centre. 